On numbers uh, 12 and 13, they're very similar. What they do is they give you a, a value for the correlation coefficient. This looks like number 12. Um, it says use the value of the linear correlation coefficient to calculate the coefficient of determination. What does this tell you about the explained variation? It gives us an R value of negative 0.222. All right. First of all, uh, R values are between negative 1 and positive 1. Uh, the closer you are to each end, the stronger the correlation in terms uh, of the correlation coefficient. But to get the coefficient of determination when you have uh, the linear correlation coefficient, you simply square it. In other words, let me pull my calculator over here. I have negative 0.2222, so I've got my uh, the computer's calculator here, and let's go 0 0.2222, let's see if it'll let me, uh-oh, too many twos, clear, 0.222, let's see if it'll let me make it negative, yeah, it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive, it's always going to be positive, but just to show you, negative 0.222 is my R value, and I'm going to square it, so I hit my X squared button, and I get 0 0.049284. Rounded to three decimal places, it is 0 0.049. Now, the next question says, what does this tell you about the explained variation? Well, I have to convert this 0 0.049 to a percentage. Of course, I will move my decimal place two places to the right, and I would say 4.9% of the variation can be explained by the regression line. And then... About unexplained variation, I simply say 100% minus 4.9%, and I get 95.1% of the variation is unexplained. Pretty simple. I think, uh, uh, I think number uh, 13 is very similar. Let's take a look. Hang on just a second. Yes, as a matter of fact, number 13. Now, r remember, these are all scrambled up and randomized your questions. And if you get one just like I've shown you, by all means, click the similar question button and do a different one because you're not learning anything just by inputting answers that I've given you. You need to work, I, I would say, work at least three problems of each problem types, numbers 1 through 15. Keeping in mind, you can keep working these and keep working these until you get a perfect score because it is homework. We want you to practice it. So um, let's take a look at this one. An R value of negative 0.667. I'll make it negative there. To get the coefficient of determination, I square it. It's 0.444889. Rounded to three decimal places will be 0.445. Move that decimal two places to the right to say 44.5% of the variation can be explained by the regression line. And then say, okay, 100 minus 44.5, this is in percent, 55.5% of the variation is unexplained. That's how simple that is. That's how simple. But I did want to show you a couple of those.